Howdy, my name is Earl. No, it's not, it's Raphael. But I'm filming the intro to this video the next day as I'm editing it because I ran in some technical difficulties, also known as the cameraman forgot to click the record button. <laughs> um, so I'm doing that now. And then I'm gonna leave in the description the times throughout the video where I'm at different booths and what booths they are and I'm gonna leave the information of each person and all that kind of stuff. So you guys can go check that out in the description to help uh, travel and manage your way through the video and see what's good at the Toronto Spring Fishing and Boat Show. So if you haven't subscribed already, definitely do that and like, it helps the video grow, it helps my channel and stay tuned for all the fun fishing stuff and other stuff too, other cool stuff, only cool stuff in the near future. All right, see you guys next time. Enjoy. It's off, it's off, relax. It's you, off. You, it's click, you just turned it back on. Wow, that's really loud. I should hold it out here probably, no? We got a nice mic situation going on over here. Ice Fisherman at Heart brings his, uh, his scooper to the show. I'm here with Raphael, right? Exactly. Oh my gosh, I thought I forgot his name. I don't. Yeah, I, I, didn't forget, I didn't forget his name. Um, we met the ice fishing show and now he's here at the uh, fishing and boat show. Fishing and boat show. And we're at the Shimano booth, as you guys can see. Looking at some stuff, looking at some new rods, new reels. As you guys know, the new Corrado lineup came out, the Corrado K and the Corrado Rod. Um, I got out in the fall, I fished a couple times, a couple weekends with the new uh, Corrado lineup. So I'm going to talk about that really, really quickly for you guys. So let's head let's over move here. Over there. Let's head over there. So this, this rod right here, it's my new favorite spinning rod. Um, I, it's, a, it's a 7 4, it's a really, really long rod uh, for some people at least. Um, I have it's, it's just insane. As you guys know, there you go, there you go. So, I don't know if you guys know who I am, I'm sure you do. Lady Bass. Lady Bass. Lady Bass, the famous fish, Lady Bass. I fish Simcoe um, with a couple of his buddies, actually. You're, you're friends with Seb. Yeah. Sure. sure, I'd like to be friends with Seb. He likes to be friends with Seb. <laughs> I, fish, I fish on Simcoe sometimes, and Simcoe's a really deep lake. Um, the 7.4 gave me a lot of leverage. On the, we were fishing like 30, 35 feet of water when I was out. The 7.4, the extra four inches gave me a lot of leverage. On the fish, I was fishing a drop shot and a swim bait, and um, I paired it up with a Stratic, and I absolutely love this combo. It's my new favorite spinning combo. So, yeah. It is nice. It's really I'm always nice. fascinated here, 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 by here, 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 here. Shimano. I can hold super light, super good looking. It's matte black. You can't go wrong with matte black. Shimano is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. Well, thank you, Isabella. And uh, we'll. Go to another booth now and show you guys what's happening over there. And never forget that when you come to a fishing and boat show, you have to get pots and pans. Because what are you going to cook your catch on? Right? And we're going to give you this beautiful clear faux imitation lemon bag. Okay. <laughs> That's one happy Dude. customer. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. And one happy sales rate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So I'm with Dave over here from Angler's Choice Baits, and uh, he's going to talk to us a little, about, a little bit about something new that they got. Uh, last year we started prototyping a Ned Rig bait with the Ned Rig craze going on and, and fishing shallow water smallmouth. It's a good deep water bait too, we find out, but uh, we wanted to come up with something that was just a touch different than what was normally out there. What no most are running is just a, a stubby little stick bait. Normally. Yeah. Uh, so we, we prototyped the plastic on. formula last year. That's key to the, how this bait works. You got to have a buoyant bait. Yeah. So we, we prototyped the plastic formula, got it to work. We got really, really, really good results from what we were, we were working with. And then over the winter, we've worked with our our machinist that uh, does all of our molds, designs, does all the CAD designing and whatnot. And we come up with the tapered, tapered tail design that we've got on this here. 
modeled it after our warthogs. It's a similar type of shorter bait than that. Similar type of bait, but we wanted the taper tail. So what we've got is a buoyant little snack for large smallmouth, and it works incredibly well. So if you want to get over in the tank here, what I mean by buoyant is when you set that bait down, you'll see it does not want to lay down. It wants to stay up. And that's key to how this works. We're looking for a bait that has a weight at the head and something buoyant to stick the tail up, and it's going to look like a feeding minnow. When it looks like a feeding minnow, these fish, large smallmouth, have a hard time. Here's We're going to give an example of how it's buoyant. It's caught the bottom, so it's staying on bottom right now, but if we give it just a little tip, it wants to sit itself back up, and that's the bait. That's the plastic being buoyant that's doing that. So as you're working it, you're going to be constantly moving, and it's constantly going to stick tail up, and it's going to mimic a feeding minnow. And I found through testing the, the different plastics and, and testing this, we were able to sight fish on Lake St. Clair, shallow water, clear water, and see is, is the big fish just can't resist something like this. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. been a really great producer so far, and the number of big fish that hit it has been amazing. So we just wanted to perfect the design and give something just a hair different. And what the different would be that tapered tail to give you a little flicker action on it. it, it it's going to be a really small finesse bait, so we're going to make it have the most action we can have. So definitely just that extra little trigger that extra action to yes. get that small mouth small mouth to bite exactly so, exactly looks like a great bait thanks so i'm a teenager who suffers from lower back pain and we're gonna go check my feet over here hey man do you want to give it a try yes i do awesome. I... just slide your shoes off step on there don't say a thing okay if you have any pain i'm gonna let you know your feet don't lie neither do i all right all right. Okay. All right, we gotta close down the booth. Yeah, your feet broke our machine here, sir. They're so <laughs> they're so terrible. Now you got a bit of a flatter foot there. That's gonna be a bit of a problem for your lower back and your knees there. It definitely uh, you're, does. You're in the right place. Um, I like I like this. Do you, do you take this everywhere you go? This is my microphone setup. Yes. Okay. Cool. Can I borrow it? Because it's for sure. Mine's getting old here. How you doing there, YouTube? Uh, <laughs> Okay, so let's show you how we do it. Um, All right. What size shoe are you, my friend? Uh, nine and a half. Nine and a half? Yeah. Okay, we're called Doc Walks. A team of doctors invented these. Uh, they're made for people who have a flat feet like yourself. All you gotta do is pop them in your shoes. This little arched piece is gonna put your feet in the medically correct position and make those pains go away immediately. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. All right. What kind of fishing do you do? Uh, I do all kinds of fishing. Do you? Anything that bites. See, yeah. I, I do fishing as well, but it's more fishing for people. People uh, walk by and I try and reel them in the air. try and catch them. It's a tough gig, but I've caught some big ones over the years. Yes, yes. All right, let's just pop them in. The soles are in. And... Oh, walking, walking all this time over here at the show really hurts. I had to listen to Dave Mercer talk standing. But, um... It honestly Sorry. does. No, no, it's okay. How does it feel? It honestly does feel better. The the lower back. It almost instantaneously. It's like magic, and this is no advertisement. Extra like. I'm paying it's him real. to say all this. <laughs> this is all set up. No, I'm just joking. No, no he but, does need them. So what, one of the things that we say here is bigger, yeah. tall, short, or small. If you got flat feet, you need these things. So just because you're a young fella, doesn't mean that the, our product can't help you. It'll make a big difference for you. No, so I definitely feel like you're feel a pretty it. active guy. So yeah. wear them, whatever you're doing, it's going to make a big difference for you. I definitely feel it. And if you want to try them yourselves, guys, you can just check out docwalks.com. That's our website. And go like them on Facebook. And go like them, yes, thank you. Like them <laughs> on Facebook. So all you millions of subscribers out there, give them a like and give them a subscribe. Awesome. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's how business works. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Alex. No, thank you very much. All the best for the show. All right. So basically, I'm in the mood to buy a boat, <laughs> and um, yeah, I guess talk to me about this boat because it caught my eye. It looks very different than the hundred other boats that are at the show. Yeah. So 
Yeah, take it away. And your name sure. is Kyle. Yeah, what's your so name? This is Kyle. <laughs> this is Kyle yeah, from Legend name, Boats. <laughs> My name is Raphael. Raphael, nice to meet you, Raphael. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Um, in YouTube land there. So, yeah, I, I'm, my name's Kyle Mochner, and uh, I live uh, in Barrie, uh, Barrie, Ontario, where our, uh, one of our corporate-owned and operated retail locations are. And we are sitting, Raphael and I, in the uh, X16. It's a, a new model for, uh, from Legend Boats as of last year. Um, and this is going to be kind of a sister boat to our XTR lineup. They're going to be built up uh, about 95% of the way, given different paint jobs, uh, the exact same. From there, we are going to be putting a little bit of uh, comfort and recreation, basically family-minded uh, individuals are going to be kind of geared towards this because, again, we are getting some things like bow cushions uh, standard, ski pole standard. we got a cooler in the glove box. And I don't know if we'll be able to see it here, but we got carpeted casting decks on both the front and back, which is really nice for bare feet, but not so much for us uh, fisher people, right? So the guys that are uh, catching lots of fish and bringing lots of fish in the boat, obviously we want to kind of stay away from carpet, which is why the XTR series kind of takes the cake when we have fisher people, uh, you know, looking to buy a boat. So it's just a little bit geared more towards um, uh, recreation versus fishing. Yes. Slapping the slime on the boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, look at this. You got a cooler. And it even comes... <laughs> it even comes with three of these ice packs. I mean, if your boat doesn't come with your own ice packs, <laughs> why are you even buying the boat? <laughs> you got to come to Legend. Look, there's this nice one over here, too. The This all matte black. Very sharp. So... You guys have a very different uh, look to all your boats, which is very intriguing. All Canadian, right? Yeah, yeah. Everything. So Canadian owned and operated, and uh, a huge part of the assembly is done in Whitefish, which is going to be uh, 20 minutes west of Sudbury. Okay. Yep, and then we even do a lot of our retail rigging for our customers. Like, uh, you know, if the shop's too busy up in Whitefish there, a lot of the time we will be taken care of you know your motor installation and, and trolling motors or whatever other knickknacks you kind of purchase with your boat um, sometimes that gets done right on site at our dealerships uh, whether it's a dealer across Canada or one of our again corporate owned and operated uh, retail locations like the one I work at in Barrie. You want to come to the back here maybe we can take a look at the, uh, at the, the, the helm here. And come on uh, cameraman this is what I pay you for. <laughs> So, yeah, going left to right here, we're going to have a 12-volt power supply. So that 12-volt power supply is going to be good for anything 12 volts. Just your basic cigarette lighter you'd get in a car kind of thing. Um, Bluetooth AM FM stereo is going to come standard on the boat as well. So all our guests and, and whoever can stream music right to our boat uh, and to our stereo. Uh, we got our gauges, obviously, there. Uh, Humminbird Piranha Max 4 Fish Finder, Color Fish Finder, Depth Finder uh, coming standard. All your switches, we got accessory lights, so that's gonna turn on blue LED lighting throughout the boat on both the footwells and at the back there as well. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of ambient lighting in the in the boat. It's it's kind of nice just to be able to see a little bit extra when, in those early mornings or late evenings when we're coming back uh, to the dock. Um, other than that, uh, you know, as far as the helm goes, we got a nice uh, uh, flush mounted control body here or throttle body so we don't have that big box sticking out taking up uh, you know a bunch of space uh, that we're not going to be using so it's nice and, and flush there and, and you know that's pretty much it uh, oh one more thing the glass I don't know why so many people love to put their uh, the frame of their windshield right here which is this always right and so many people are probably laughing right now because they've all done it I know I have growing up my whole life we throw ours up nice and high, no matter how tall you are, you are looking through tailor-made wraparound glass, which is really nice. Nice protection and safety too, right? Any, do you guys have anything to say? I think it's been a great show, and I got my friend Amanda here, makes it even better. Aww. And uh, I got my new friends here, uh, Harry and Raj. Raj, right? Raf. 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 Yeah. And Mike. Oh, I got Ralph. Mike's here too. Yeah, and I'm, ju I'm just here. I'm just happy to meet Tony and and have a shot at all, all these beautiful baits he makes. These guys are doing a great job. I'm yeah. sure they're handling, carrying most of the work for Tony here, but he's just here looking good, I think. We got Matthew there. He's a good hard worker. <laughs> we keep him around. Definitely always hard at work. Handmade, quality. There you go, made in Canada. And, and, uh, 
Amanda's with uh, Just Hunt. And what else? Everything. TV. TV. Yeah, just about <laughs> everything outdoors. Just Hunt TV yeah. and the founder of Ontario Women's Hunting Association. Right? Take me fishing. That's right. Take me hunting. And uh, shoot some guns. Range just, day. Just fish. Just fish. Just fish. Or hashtag, Can we do that? Hashtag Just Fish. Maybe. There you go. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you guys. Hey. Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> yeah.